Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing an idea which um, two of you guys suggested in my Discord server so if you've not joined that definitely make sure to go ahead and join it link in the description where you can talk with me about ideas things like that or just have a general discussion with me but yeah a lot of ideas um, have came from this actually so yeah really really cool stuff but yeah today's idea um, as requested by two of you guys is what if you turn planet 9 into a black hole and specifically Sagittarius A which is the black hole at the centre of the Milky Way so we're going to be heading all the way out here today to planet 9 over here we haven't done a video of planet 9 in, in quite a while but yeah we're going to be making it into Sagittarius A so what if basically the centre of the Milky Way was right here instead of planet nine so you're right on our solar system's doorstep we're going to see sort of what carnage it can do we'll do two sort of scenarios so first of all we'll do auto orbit and then secondly we'll just pull it there and then see the total chaos that unfolds but yeah without further ado let's get straight into this so planet nine also we're going to need to open the menu um, and get that all up so yeah there we go Right, let's go ahead and click on that okay so yeah sagittarius 8 so we're going to place this right on top of planet nine so as we can see it's quite a lot bigger um than planet nine it's very very dark so we're going to customize it so we can actually see it but yeah there we go so there it is so yeah good thing good thing we actually have the um, the option to do this now so color let's just pull it as red just so we just so we can sort of spoil it i guess like an orangey sort of reddish color just just so we can see it a little easier see there we go so we'll, go, we'll roll with that so sagittarius a is now spawned in so that is sitting right on the edge of the solar system now so then what we need to do is we want to go to tools more auto orbits we're going to click that and as we can see straight away it's going to mess things up so we're going to slow down time we'll put it to a couple of minutes or a couple of days just to start off a couple of hours there we go that's fine so then we're going to go ahead click play and there you go so let's just see um what it would do to the solar systems right now the solar system is pretty much in the setup it's supposed to be it looks like some of the inner planets may be upset by this as well but as we can see even objects like Ceres which is basically in the inner solar system in the asteroid belt even that has been torn away from the sun's gravity just because of how powerful and how strong this black hole is i mean look look how many suns it contains i mean that's quite a lot more than our sun so even though it's quite it's at planet nine's distance that massive presence is still going to rip objects away from the sun even as close as Ceres. and i reckon you mars may fall off um off the hook at some point as we can see like the whole asteroid belt has gone actually speaking of the asteroid belt let's add it in and we'll add the kuiper belt um, in as well before we begin but um there we go so asteroid belt we're gonna add it to the sun we're gonna see how ruined this gets and actually what we'll do is just so we can see the objects a little easier we'll put them on the uh, manual um i guess we'll just have it on i'll uh, have white ones so let's just pause it again all right so then we'll click add to sun so we're gonna see as those rings get completely taken apart so yeah there we go but yeah well i guess we can also add the um kuiper belt in um as well so um Actually, never, never mind, because I don't have the exact stats for it. But I guess the asteroid belt is a good enough example of what would happen to the Kuiper belt anyway, because I'm pretty sure it's pretty obvious that those guys will get torn away. But let's just see how much of the asteroid belt gets taken out as well. So I guess we'll put it on. Um, it will go on a flashlight just so we can see the rings nice and easy there. But yeah, there we go. So that's the asteroid belt. The rest of the solar system all the way at home. Look how far away the goblin is. It's just the only one that's um, out there right now. Sedna is actually the closest object to um, Sag A now. So yeah, there we are. But now let's go ahead and click play. So. I'm really interested to see what happened in the inner solar system. Because as we can see, most of the objects are probably just going to become orbiting the black hole. Uh, they're not close enough to be torn apart or anything by the looks of it. As we can see, the inner solar system, due to that black hole, is just they're just getting ripped away from the sun. As we can see, Mars, like I predicted, that's already broken away from the sun. So yeah, there we go. Let's keep going. We can see the ash. Look at the asteroid belt. Oh no. Oh, and that's something else. Vesta's just been completely shot out by something there. As we can see, the sun. We've got Pallas there, which is all on there. So yeah, we've got Pallas. But look how the asteroid belt has been bent now. And now they're all flying super close to the sun. So some of them could fly actually into the sun. Look at them all sprinkle around. Look at that. And then you see some are going off in all different directions. We can see Earth has been completely thrown out um, of its comfort zone now. And this is probably going to start getting a lot colder. Um, as we can see here, so it's broken Earth anyway at the moment. But as we can see, that temperature is going to drop. That's going to freeze up. As we can see, the ice is already starting to spread um, everywhere there. How, how's the um, other stuff? So Mercury looks like to be the only object hanging on. We can see Venus as well, not doing too good um, out there either. But yeah, there we go. So and yeah, the rest of the planets have all been pulled away. And all the moons. Yeah, Venus has broken away from the sun now. Look at that. Look what the black hole has done. And... and yeah, we're going black on flashlight. Just look at the asteroid belt already. And that's just crazy. So there we go. There's a better look at it. We've got on trails. But you can see there, the whole solar system has just been pulled to shreds. And now it's just a 
collection of objects in orbit of SAG A, because this is this is why you can't have solar systems near black holes. It just wouldn't work. You can have individual objects, but solar systems they just wouldn't work. The black hole is just too dominant in this area to allow the sun to have anything to orbit it. Uh, apart from Mercury, I mean, you've got to be very close to the sun um, to still orbit it. I mean, let's get let's just get an object as an example. So we'll use Mercury again. So we go to this side. How far out would it go? See, like, yeah, the sun's gravity just isn't powerful enough to hold any of these um, objects in place because the black hole is just too dominant. So we can see now all of the solar system objects have all been jumbled up and now they're all going to be orbiting in different orbits so some will go around up quicker than others. We can see Neptune and Uranus as well. Look how close they've ended up um, in this scenario. So we can see those guys are... Although they were originally far apart, they're now sharing a very similar orbit just due to where they were around the sun. So for Neptune or, Ur or for Uranus to come around and overtake Neptune, that will take absolutely forever. Um, but actually, speaking of distances, so it takes three years for Neptune to go around. So I'm guessing the first object out only takes ten years. So yeah, the black hole, just these guys are going around pretty quick. So yeah, there we go. How quick is Sedna going around? We see Sedna's obviously overtaking most things. But yeah, there we go. So that takes um, 1.92 years. Um, right, then we see Sedna's going around way quicker than um, the other ones. But yeah, there we go. So we can just see that is our first scenario. So if you click Auto Orbit, the whole solar system is pulled apart. Every single object, apart from Mercury, literally every object other than Mercury. So I'm, yeah, Mercury is still orbiting the sun. But every object other than Mercury has been pulled away from the sun. And now it's just part of this black hole system. Um, it does look quite cool, I have to say, with them all just orbiting um, around like this. We can see some objects ended up being quite close to each other. We've got um, Chiron here. We've got this one as well. Those are now extremely close together. I mean, I don't know if you can see it from... Um... Can you see it? No, I'm not, I'm not sure you can. Yeah, I still think it's too far away to be visible, really. But they're still relatively close together, those guys there. And obviously Uranus and Neptune were quite close, but still quite a big distance so yeah they you know you're definitely not going to be seeing them anytime soon but yeah there we go so we can see here that is just absolutely crazy and, and yeah let's um the asteroid belt just look at the asteroid belt it's just everywhere the the asteroid belt is completely all over the place we can see where the sun is there's hardly any of the asteroid belt around the sun but i'm guessing if we kept playing they would eventually overtake the sun like they're doing there there we go so now it's making a the asteroid belt has just become a new ring around sagittarius a yeah it's made a pretty much a perfect ring of objects so we can see um the goblin storms out there but yeah there you go so yeah you can see some of them are on slightly di um different orbits as well this one i just clicked on you can see it going around the edges there just due to a little more obscure orbit but yeah but the main asteroid belt though that's relatively stayed in one piece. I mean, other than being torn away from the sun, it's, it's sort of turned into two different rings now. Look at that. So there's sort of two rings of asteroid belt, but I'm pretty sure that may just be due to the sun's presence. Because if the asteroids are going... Where, where, actually, where is the sun? So there it is. I'm guessing just due to where the sun is, they either go closer or behind the, the sun they don't go to where the sun actually is i think the sun may still be affecting the asteroids just slightly it uh, yeah it looks like it is some of the asteroids are being affected by the sun um so yeah there we go that's so i think the sun is what is creating this two ring these like two sort of separate rings you can see yeah there's there's sort of like it does look like there's two rings there and that is created by the sun's presence i'm pretty sure there but yeah there we go i could be wrong though so if i'm wrong let me know but i'm pretty sure the sun is the reason um for that but yeah there we go so that's pretty much um ended this scenario so as we can see if you did that put it as auto orbit the sun just loses all of its um, dominance and sagittarius a just make puts it all in a nice comfortable ring there obviously no objects are going to bounce off each other because the gravity of the black hole is so strong and there's just so much dominance here that, yeah, this this thing is just too powerful for any other objects to cause any uh, nonsense. So, yeah, there we go. So that is very, very powerful indeed there. So that is our first scenario of the day. But let's go ahead and load it up again. And this time we're not going to do anything. We're just going to place it in and we're just going to watch as chaos unfolds. So let's go back to Black Hole, Sagittarius A. Let's place this right on Planet 9 like before. So, yeah, there we go. Obviously, delete Planet 9. There we go. Right, so there it is. Right, and then obviously we're going to go and customize it just so we can see it a little easier. So, color. Just put it nice to a nice red there. So, there we go. So, we can just see it a little easier. But, yeah, there we go. But yeah, we're not we're not clicked anything. We haven't clicked all to orbit. So, all the objects in theory should still be all in the sun here. I don't know why Jupiter's sunny in a binary of the sun. Looks a little weird. But, yeah, as soon as we click play, we're, we're going to put this down to the minutes. So, there we go. So, yeah, minutes, about nine minutes, okay. So, nine minutes, click play, like so, and immediately, as soon as we click play, all the objects are already, like, the whole solar system is instantly dead as soon as we click play. So, we're going to put it on trails. 
So previously they all orbited the sun. You can still see the remains of the trails of where they orbited the sun here. But as soon as we start to speed up a little more, so let's just split it to a couple of uh, a couple of days. Let's go to a couple of days. Okay, there we go. And you can see here. Uh, 22 days and the whole system has already been pulled from its place so as we can see how fast are they traveling so we can see right now the sun is traveling at over 1500 kilometers a second so obviously nothing to light speed really but meters a second quite a lot of meters meters a second since they're not orbiting the black hole the black hole is pulling them in due to it being the most supreme object we can see obviously the closer the object is so that being sedna this probably has the highest speed and i'm guessing the object all the way over here would have a slower speed so the goblin yeah, 200. So the closer you are, the faster you go and the quicker you accelerate, um, I believe, is the way it works. But as we can see here, that Sedna's not done. It's going to keep accelerating. But yeah, there we go. So we can see, yeah, the sun, all these guys are eventually going to catch up. But yeah, the closer you are, the quicker you're going to go. So as we can see, Sedna, poor Sedna, is really accelerating fast. I mean, let's just look at it in light speed. 0 0.01, so over 1% the speed of light. And it's increasing faster and faster. I mean, black holes, very, very powerful stuff here. So we can see SAG A is just chilling. But yeah, Sedna is the first of the um, solar system, I guess, to be um, devoured by the black hole. So yeah, there we go. Obviously, that's not going to last um, too much longer. We see, oh my God, look how big the black hole is getting. This is in 10, this is in 10 hours. That was 10 hours. And look how quick it was getting. Wow. So yeah, there we go. We're now traveling at three hours, but it looks like Sedna has been slingshotted rather than destroyed. So that, um, don't know what um, future that's going to have now, but let's keep an eye on the rest of the system. So yeah, there we go. So we can see this one is the next one. So that's um, traveling almost 10,000 kilometers a second now. So that is insane. So yeah, there we go. 0 0.03, the speed of light. So that's very crazy there. Sedna's just getting slingshotted across the black hole. So that may have been completely shot out. But if we slow down time, I believe that's when it actually collides. Because sometimes when you speed it up, they do get slingshotted. But as we can see, this object is coming in at high speed. 0.1, the speed of light. And it's gone sm smashing straight into the black hole at 10% the speed of light. I mean, that is insane. So I'm guessing the objects that started last will actually hit the highest speed eventually. Um, I'm guessing. But yeah, here we go. So how's this doing speed of light? So it's really accelerating fast. But yeah, the, one of the dwarf planets now. So we've got Orcus coming up, and we've got Eris, and then we've got Uranus and Neptune. So the first two planets will be Uranus and Neptune. But yeah, here we go. So they're still on a collision course. Obviously, there's no... Looks like some may slingshot just due to the... Since the black hole is moving slightly as well. Um, yeah, the black hole's actually traveling quite fast now. So yeah, that may cause them to slingshot rather than hit the target since the black hole is moving. But here we go. So let's see how these guys do. So... Yeah, they're going to get pulled round just due to the massive dominance of the black hole moving. See, there we go. So it looks like some of these, they may be traveling so fast. And since the black hole's um, speeding as well, may maybe we won't, maybe they won't collide. Maybe that was just a fluke when that other one smashed into it. But it looks like a lot of the solar system is either going to get shot out or ejected. There we go. Look at all the solar system go around. Oh, dear. And there we go. So a lot of those could get slingshotted out. We've got the last of the objects now. Against Sagittarius, Ahis, which has pulled the whole solar system and then it slung it back around like a slingshot, as we can see here. I'm guessing the goblin is still the. This thing must be traveling very fast eventually. Actually, no, its speed is decreasing. Wow, okay, I wonder what's going on there. But its speed is actually decreasing. Maybe it's because the black hole is actually traveling faster, so it can't actually catch up to the black hole. I'm guessing that's why, since it's the black hole's getting further and further away, I'm guessing the pre the pull on the goblin is actually getting less and less as well. But yeah, just look at that. So is anything still orbiting the sun? Let's see. Uh, we've got Earth there, is that? So Earth, Earth and Venus, okay. So those two have got very obscure orbits now due to that very close call with the black hole. Earth is actually very hot now since it's fairly close to the sun as we can see so poor earth's actually getting roasted up but are they going to come around for a round two it looks like they are but yeah there we go so we've got compared to the last time we did this we've got a different type of ring it's not a perfect circle oval ring now we've got a, a lot more obscure oval shape um as we can see here so yeah pretty crazy stuff indeed i'm pretty sure if we did position lock sagittarius a i'm pretty sure they'd all smash into it but yeah position locking i don't think is really realistic so yeah we'll, we'll I think um, keeping it moving probably would give you better results um, there. But it looks like the Goblin is still on a collision course, actually. So I don't know what's going on there. Speed is going all over the place. But yeah, there we go. So it seems like th with this scenario, we've got a similar result of all the objects orbiting around the black hole. One of them did get destroyed. Um, but yeah, we do have a similar result of um, most of the objects going around the black hole. It looks like Sedna actually just got shot out at hyperspeed. I mean, how fast is that going? 0 0.09. 
So almost zero, almost ten percent the speed of light. Said they're going there, so that's being ejected out. Very, very fast stuff indeed. So yeah, there we go. But I wonder how, how fast are these guys going? So these are traveling. Oh yeah. So oh, it looks like oh, there's the goblin again. So that's traveling very fast. But as we see, once the objects approach Sagittarius A, so we'll check with Iris. Let's check this uh, light speed. So it does almost. It goes up to around zero point zero seven. I think I saw that, so then it slows down, but once it gets pulled in again, it will increase very fast, but it will just go round and round, obviously, the closer you get, the faster you go, and then you get slung round, and then you slow down again, so, yeah, there we go, that does it for what if Planet 9 was replaced by a black hole or Sagittarius A, so yeah, very, very dangerous object right here, and it's nowhere near the biggest black hole either, so it just shows even a black hole like this, I mean, this black hole does hold a galaxy together after all, I mean, the Milky Way is all in is all in control of or all controlled by this guy so yeah we can see that the the center of the milky way does have a massive effect on our solar system and i'm pretty sure we're not really surprised at that i mean just of how much mass this guy has i mean i mean jupiter's i mean that's quite how many uh, i mean yeah that's a lot of um a lot of size there um so yeah very very crazy stuff indeed but yeah hopefully you guys all enjoyed today's video and if you did make sure to hit that like button subscribe if new hopes on the journey to 13,000 subscribers and yeah just look at it on trail mode Ooh, look how cool that looks of all the objects getting slung around that is really really cool but yeah, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Helps on the journey to 13,000 subscribers. And a massive thank you for all the support recently. Everyone hitting that like button. Let's see if we can go for 40 likes as our goal, actually. Let's try and go for that. That would be absolutely amazing. And yeah, just a massive thank you for everyone who keeps coming back to the videos, leaving likes, and just all the support in general. Just a massive, massive thank you um, to you. It really helps the channel out a lot. And yeah, I really, really appreciate it. So a massive thank you um, to you all for that again. I know I say it a lot, but yeah, it means the world. It's absolutely amazing. And yeah, with that all out of the way, guys, make sure you all have a great day. If you've got any other ideas, let me me know either in my discord server or in the comments and yeah that is everything guys so yeah like i said make sure you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye